old Chris Mystery Cleaning and Clean Ones of the Final Coast. So, I've spoke a bit in the past about sort of um, the purification system that we use, uh, which is the tank over there. And today we're going to do a very quick walkthrough, talk through of a resin change. So the resin that we use ordinarily is Tulsian um, MB115 B re um, exchange iron exchange resin. And the stuff that we got here is a substitute that I got from Varitech Systems. At the time when I made this purchase, um, it was sort of October last year, and there was a real shortage of um, bead resin. So this is like a bit of a, it's an alternative. Um, it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it, it does pretty much the same thing, to be honest with you. It lasts more or less the same length, but I do like using Tulsian. Um, you know what you're getting when you get Tulsian. So... Um, but it's basically what we're going to do, a bit of housekeeping. Just walk you through. We'll go, we've prepped a bucket down here, and that's where we're going to put our waste resin out of the container. And then from there, we're going to top it up uh, with this um, ion exchange resin that we've got here. And then we're going to put it back on the machine. And then that's pretty much it. So uh, enjoy the video, peeps, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to disconnect that from the machine from there. And from there, I've got this ring around here, which I've already loosened off. So I'm going to take that off and take that over to the table. Okay, so be warned. Okay, it is. it has got water in it. Um, you know, when you do this for the first time, it has got water in it. It might be a bit uh, on the heavy side. And it's also, because it's been pressured up, the seals around here will be extremely tight. So it's going to take some welly to get that, that lid off. So what you do is you just take the lid off and then, there we go, you take the riser out, give it a bit of a shake, there we go, just going to pop that over here out of the way for a minute, okay, so we're going to take this now, we're going to tip this out into our bucket, I'm just going to give this a quick wash. Okay, so give it a bit of a swell. And chuck that into there. Cool. So that's now empty, and I've given it a bit of a rinse along these threads so that the beads don't uh, break the threads. Okay, so. In here, I keep this little football cone that I use, and I use that as basically as a little bit of a funnel type thing. There saves the resin from spilling all over the table. And then use the scoop to put said resin from there into there. Speed the video up with it. One eternity later. <sighs> so I'll just give it a bit of a shake to make sure it's absolutely full to the brim with resin. And then obviously the idea is then is that you, uh, when you run your water through it, is that you travel, you know, the resin takes all the impurities out and then the water travels up that riser and out into the tank and that's where it's uh, at its most purest when it's it's able to when you fill the tank right up it's, uh, it's better you're better able to do that so just push that into there, there we go. okay so that's absolutely brimming now as you can see there so what I'm going to do is give it another shake okay that's about as full as I want to make it, so you can see there, 
it's, you can see the top of it just there. And what we're going to do is when I, is when I fill it up, I am going to rinse these threads. Okay, okay. So that's now topped up with water uh, into there, and you can see there. There's a bit of water on the top there, but I've left the threads. Uh, I've left the threads clear on there. So now what I'm going to do is put the riser back in there without uh, without getting any resin in the actual uh, threads. So pop your riser back in, and there'll be a bit of resistance, but just gently work it down to the bottom. Oops. Ideally, you want that to remain there. That's it. So then you work that into the bottom like so. And there's no bead resin on the actual rim. So now I'm just going to tighten it up. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And there we go. It's going in now. Okay. So, got that hand tight now, don't need to put any tools on it or anything like that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's a, a bit there where it's, you've got it, uh, you've got out and then you've got in written there. Okay, Okay. so you've got an in, uh, an in and an out on the actual uh, top of there and that relates to the uh, machine. I'm just going to take you over there now. And put that back in its place in the frame and I'll tighten these brackets up later but basically what you need to do is marry up the in with that pipe with the in pipe and the out with the output pipe and that's pretty much it uh, we can now turn the machine on now and we'll now benefit from pure water so uh, yeah hope you found this video uh, interesting and I shall see you in the next video